Hi, Pafalvi here in the School of Mountaineering here at the Mountain Lodge and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about ski poles or trekking poles and I've had over 200 inquiries about the importance and are they of use. Well let me tell you this, they are. These are an amazing pieces of equipment to have and for me they can take off over 64 ton of pressure in a day and I just want to show you how these work both for trekking throughout your life and indeed how the use of them come in handy in climbing mountains and at altitude. So the first thing with ski poles is that people get wrong is they hold the ski pole like this and if you have to hold the ski pole like that and if you let it go and you leave it fall then it is wrong. These straps these straps here are for reasons, right? And this is the straps that take the weight off of your knees, off of your back, off of your spine, and it enables you to actually travel lightly. But just watch this. If you look, now my straps are big because I allow them to be big so that I can get mitts up through them when I'm climbing at high altitude. But the trick with it is to up and down. And if you look at this, the straps goes across your palm and this is what will take the weight off of your feet and off of your knees and back. So the usual height that I will carry them is, this is my hip hair, and I usually adjust my ski poles to the height of my hip. So like if you look here, that's about the height of the hip. I just drop it to that and I connect it. And usually I make the other ski pole the same height. So here I have now my two ski poles at the same height but just let me show you how it takes the weight off of your feet. When I'm out I'm walking if you look at it and I'm putting down my foot I'm actually have all the weight across my palms as you can see now I'm exaggerating it as I put my foot down I'm up. The next one is as I put my foot down I'm up. Next as I'm putting it down I'm up. So at any given time there's only 20 to 30 percent of my weight hitting the ground. The main thing is that I'm extending my back over the years from pulling 120 kilos like on my sleds and then 30 kilos on my back I've suppressed my spine so now more so than ever I have to ensure that I keep this pressure off my spine and everything now you know transforms from my hand up along here onto my shoulders extending my hip and leaving as little as possible hit the ground just let me show you this in relation to how it works with a crutch and it's exactly the same thing as I say like when I'm down I'm up it's like a kangaroo at times so if you just watch this this is a pair of crutches standard pair of crutches that people use and this is what happens when you use your stick properly if you notice now I'm putting my hand down on the crutch but before my leg hits you can see I'm up so there's very little of my body weight hitting the ground and this is exactly the way it is with the sticks. Now on top of that there's an art in using your sticks and you know if you look at the way that you walk up a mountain you could say it's like a handrail and just let me show you this um, with these uh, ski poles. So if you look, I'm here again and I'm in and around. But as I'm walking, like you will find like that I'm, I'm pushing and pulling all the time. I'm pushing and pulling. I'm pushing and pulling. So in reality, throughout the day, I can save approximately between a thousand and two thousand calories in energy. Just watch this on the slope and you will see and then I'll show you how it works as a handrail. Come over here. This is a small slope and as you see as I'm coming up I'm pushing on this one and I'm pulling on that one. I'm pushing on this one and I'm pulling on that one. I'm pushing on this one and pulling on this one. I'm pulling on this and pushing on that. So throughout the day I'm pushing and pulling all the time the same as if it was a handrail going up the stairs. Just let me show you this in relation to a form of a handrail. I've just used two ladders here it's very easy to explain just watch this. So 
like if you see here, and this is about the height, you can see I'm pushing, I'm pulling, I'm pushing, I'm pulling, I'm pushing, I'm pulling, I'm pushing, I'm pulling, pushing, I'm pulling. Now, watch this, just as an example of how this works if it was a handrail. Like if you look, I put my hand here, if this was the stick, so I'm pulling myself up and I'm pushing. And then I'm pulling myself up and I'm pushing. I'm pulling myself up and I'm pushing. I'm pulling myself up and I'm pushing with this hand. And that's what's amazing about using ski poles. Because over the day, you're pushing and pulling all day long. And you know, it's a great way to ensure and as a Polish climber, Magic Berbica, when I started first, he was one of my main coaches, taught me these lessons. And I hope that, you know, you will find them interesting. As you can see again, I'm pulling and pushing. I'm pulling and pushing. I'm pulling and pushing. And in that race, it takes a lot of pressure off your knees, off your back, and it lengthens the spine. And indeed at high altitude also, What's very handy is that when you want to rest, you can put them out like this and you can breathe. It expands the diaphragm in your body. So that's it, Pat Balvi from the Mountain Lodge School of Mountaineering here in Killarney overlooking the lakes in this absolutely gorgeous day.